Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. This time out, a plug-in from Sound Toys that allows for multi-effects processing. Let's get started. Today we're checking out Effect Rack, which is a plug-in that was included with the Sound Toys 5 bundle. Now this plug-in allows you to load multiple instances of Sound Toys plugins and create multi-effects processing chains. Here's how it works. The Effects Rack window has three basic sections. The top section is the control panel. The effects section is here in the lower part. And off to the right is where all of the Sound Toys plugins are listed. To load a plugin, simply click on it and drag it into the effects space. To add a second plugin, simply click on it and drag it above, below, or to replace a plugin right on top of the existing one. The control panel section at the top has three basic areas. The first is the sync or tempo area. When you load Effect Rack, it automatically syncs up to the tempo of your session, but you can also tap in the tempo or you can type in a new tempo here. The center section gives us global controls. We have an input level control, an output level control, and a recycle control which routes some of the output signal back into the input for more intense effects. And then we have a global mix control for setting up a wet dry mix. On the right side we have our toolbox section. Here's where we set the size of our window. You can set it small, large, or you can set it to automatically fit to your screen. You can also choose whether or not you're showing or hiding the Sound Toys plugins. When you load a plugin into Effect Rack, buttons appear here on the right hand side. The top one opens up the presets for that particular plugin. You can also step through the presets one at a time, or you can save a new preset. The power switch is basically a bypass switch for that particular plugin, and we can also solo that plugin, which makes it the only active plugin in the rack. As I mentioned, you can load plugins below by dragging into the free space. You can also load them above by dragging above the existing plugins, or by loading on top, you can replace the existing plugins. If we turn solo off, all three of these will become active. By scrolling, we can check out all of the plugins in our rack. To remove a plugin, you can drag to the right and release your mouse, or drag to the left and release the mouse. We can also choose to load an overall plugin for the entire effects rack. And when we open this up, it'll load up multiple instances at the same time. So in this case, we loaded Vintage Punch, which has a radiator and a filter freak installed. A wide variety of presets are included. We've got chorusing presets, delays, filters, spaces, modulation, drum, bass. As you load each plugin into Effect Rack, its parameters become available for automation. You can have up to 128 parameters automated at one time. Let's go ahead and load up a bass preset here. I've got a bass guitar track. So here's 70s amp buzz. We can bypass the overall effect rack. Or we can bypass the effects within the rack. Effect Rack is included with Sound Toys 5. It's sort of a bundle along with all the Sound Toys plugins, and it gives you a lot of flexibility for creating multi-processing effects chains. Thanks for joining me for the Sweetwater Minute. I'm Mitch Gallagher.